The mission of Fort Benning is to provide trained, agile, adaptive, and ready soldiers and leaders to the United States Army in order to fight and win our nation's wars. And to accomplish this mission requires adequate training space. We have a study underway to potentially purchase up to 82,800 acres of land for training. We've identified a training shortfall in terms of acreage on Fort Benning that exists today and we want to expand that. The purpose is to have an area that will accommodate two heavy maneuver training battalions at the same time. We cannot do that on Fort Benning currently. There's just not enough training space. Fort Benning officials recently met with residents of Marion, Webster, Stewart, Talbot and Harris counties in Georgia and Russell County, Alabama to talk about the Army's training land expansion program during a series of town hall meetings starting in Stewart County. This is the first of four that we're doing and this county has been a identified as being the preferred alternative in the draft environmental impact statement that we're doing. And so we want to get the community here to be able to share their concerns and let them know where we're at in the process. I think most of the people in our area, they support the military in doing this, but they are concerned how it may affect them personally. And this is something I think the Fort Benning officials have all said they understand and they are working with everybody that's involved to lessen the impact and try to see that everybody has a fair say. The training land expansion program is in everyone's vital interest, which is to support our army who fights our nation's wars, preserves our freedoms, our liberties, and protects all of America's land. I don't have the problem with them coming down. We need the military. If we don't have the military, you know, we have a problem. I think it's important that as we go through the study that we're being transparent with the community. That's what we want to do is get out to the communities, let them know what we're doing, make sure that they're not uh, operating on rumor control, that we can talk to them directly. They can share their concerns with us because we want to minimize impact to the communities. Fort Benning officials and the local communities are working hard together to make sure everyone's voice gets heard and that the project is a success for everyone involved. The Fort Benning personnel have been great to work with. They've more than met us halfway. We love our partners, we love the surrounding communities, we want to continue our partnership with them. We are part of the community. We're not trying to impact residents and those kinds of things. We really are looking for large commercial land holdings that can accommodate our training. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.